good morning class welcome to st peter school this is our science class and this is our sixth class and uh, in previous class we were discussing about the adaptation in animals we are done with the adaptation in plants and now we are discussing at the point of adaptation in animal and we have uh, uh, okay, we have covered the two types of adaptation in animals like uh, adaptation in forest and grassland animals adaptation in uh, amphibians adaptation in uh, and uh, aquatic animals so we uh, we have covered all this topic now today we are going to study about the adaptation done by the desert animal okay so uh, first point i have given you here okay so uh, if you want uh, like uh, all the students are requested to take out your books just for the reference okay take out page number five now start with adaptation and the, you can see the last uh, topic is given you on the page number five adaptation in desert animals okay so uh, first point i have given you in my uh, slide is staying in the shadow shade of the plants of the rocks thus avoiding the direct rays of the sun what they do they don't uh, like they always uh, where they stops they always stops in a uh, like a shady area okay to avoid that in the, the direct sun rays should not fall on their body these animals also sick because we all know that in desert area there is a, a very hot temperature right uh, so uh, what they always try they always stay in a shadow these animals also seek, uh, seek shelter by burrowing into the ground most of the small animals which uh, which, which present in a desert area uh, used to live under a burrow burrow is nothing it's a type of hole making on in the land okay another behavioral adaptation used by the desert animal is to remain inactive during the hot daylight hours okay they hunt at night when temperatures are cool and when there is less risk of losing precious body water now what this is the first adaptation done by the desert animals to survive in a desert area is don't they don't come out in the daytime lot if there is a very much urgent then only they comes out of that otherwise they remain in their burrow in the daytime because it's a very hot temperature found in a desert area okay so that's why they were what, what time they do they are hunting for feeding themselves they do hunting at the night time okay some animals get all of the water they need from the insects bulbs and seeds they eat they will not drink water even when it is available okay now um um, that the most adaptation is seen in the animal in a desert area is to how to survive without water okay some animals get all of the water they need from the insects insects birds and seeds they eat so what they what they eat insects birds and the seeds whatever they eat like they don't drink water after that or like they eat those type of seeds only they those type of insects only which waters their mouth and they don't they avoid to they try to avoid drinking water like they don't want to make the habit of drinking water again and again okay characteristics in camel we all know that like abundant number of camel is found in a desert area the most specific animal which is found in desert area is camel so what characters camel have to survive in the desert area is long legs with the flat and cushioned soles folds of the skin over the nostrils long and thick eyelashes thick skin to conserve water in the body so what uh, uh, first of all uh, from the childhood days we all know that it is camel has having a uh, carrying a hump on their body you can see in this image this structure is known as the hump okay in which what the camel do the camel used to store the water and uh, water and food for the like um, uh, like forward and they used to store those in a, for the coming days okay they don't uh, drink all the water at a time they used to store the water in their hump okay so thick skin to conserve water in the body is nothing it's a hump thick eyelashes uh, thick eyelashes black shade eyes so to avoid with this diet sunlight long less 
and long legs with a flat cushion soles helps them to walk in in into the sand fold because they are not uh, too small they, that they can hide under the uh, shade uh, right so they are big in size so what uh, adaptation is done by the, the those type of animal they have a thick soles and folds of the skin over the nostrils they have uh, everything um, like skins are folded and then the skins are very thick to uh, uh, to protect them from the direct sunlight some examples of the desert animals are rats snakes spiders lizards in desert so uh, the uh, we, uh, rats have a variety okay some rats also found in our area we can we that rat we see but a uh, different uh, types of rats have a specific um, this is in a specific type of rabbits are found in the desert area that is uh, um, i think uh, the name is jack rabbit jack rabbit is found in a desert area some snakes also found in desert area some snakes found in our area also but some snakes found in desert area also that have a special characteristic for example rattlesnakes okay there here i have given you few examples of desert animal you can see bacteria in camel south african lion pronghorn desert uh, recluse spider rattlesnake i was uh, kit fox and uh, so these animals are found in desert area most of the examples i have given you uh, okay some examples is given on your book also you can see this is a camel and this is a rat rat a specific desert cotton mill rat is found in the desert area okay so these animals are found in desert area and and the more more adaptation is done to just uh, avoid the water they have a thick skin they have a hump on their body and most of the animals lives in burrows to uh, like survive in a desert area okay now we will study about what is adaptation in snowy region animals what type of adaptation done by the snowy region animals to survive there in a cold such a cold climate even we are not able to survive in a cold climate without any sweater or coat but how do the animals survive in this region so we will study about this white and the silver color body helps it blend in with the white background okay now uh, in a snowy region uh, everything is white white we know the snow is white in color so to hide in, in the white uh, like uh, to protect them from hunting they are uh, mostly found in white and silver color so they, what they uh, what that helps them helps them to hide in the snowy region for example if in white uh, whitish uh, land uh, they appears black it uh, like um, we can easily catch those animals which is color in, which is black in color in the white in uh, white background so to uh, protect from themselves uh, the those animals are mostly found in white and silver color structure okay thick skin and thick hair on the skin protect it from cold yes as a coat they have a thick skin and thick hair on their body they huddle together in groups to keep themselves warm they always uh, mostly found in a group to create a warm temperature among themselves only like uh, uh, one body and two body in nearby so they like um, they feels warm um, when they are in a group okay they have webbed feet and they streamline their body while swimming which makes them good swimmers okay and we know uh, we might have uh, most of you have if you went uh, into the snowy region you you will see that they we will uh, we are provided with a very special shoes to walk on the snowy region so in the same way they have a special feet webbed feet and thick they sole fit to uh, like survive in the cold uh, region they can walk in the cold region also they streamline their body while swimming which makes them good swimmers uh, okay so they have also like aquatic animals also have a streamlines on their body in the same way uh, snowy region animals also have a streamline on their body which helps them uh, to swim in uh, like if it, it is required to uh, to swim for them they can easily swim okay few examples of snowy region animals are yak polar bear white fox silver fox mountain goat siberian husky dog and snow leopard so these all are the few examples of snowy region animals there are a lot more example for this you few examples also i have also given you here polar po image of polar bear canadian lynx wolf uh, wolverine 
snowy owl so this type of uh, yak this is the yak so i see you can see there lots of hair in uh, in his body so what helps then uh, this this hair this help in uh, this hair has them to uh, like protects their body from the very cold temperature so we, we all know that in snowy region very cold temperature is there so um, how they survive they have a hairs on their body they have a thick thick layer of skin okay polar beard are white in structure so that is the that is the way they survive in this cold climate okay and you can see and in your book also on the page number 6 it is been it has been given adaptation in animals of snowy region from the internet download images of animal like yak polar bear i have already given you a white or the silver body color long thick hair on the skin are typical characteristics of animal of snowy region so i all the points i have described you already now move to the another um, adaptation that is adaptation in aerial animal now what is the adaptation done in aerial animal are spindle shaped body minimize the resistance of air while flying okay what is spindle shaped body look uh, you, you uh, like you can understand like uh, this they have a flattened body okay not a bulky body spindle shaped body minimize the resistance of air so if they are, are they are like bulky in size so they cannot fly easily in the air so for uh, to fly in the air they have a spindle flattened shaped body feathers covering the body body is covered with the feathers four legs modified into wings four legs like uh, the, some birds have a four legs modified into wings we all know that uh, like uh, from the childhood days we uh, we are listening this if we have wings we can fly in the sky so what birds have a special characteristic they have wings on their body and wings is nothing it's a modification of four legs okay uh, front legs are the modification of wings only air sacs in the body to increase the buoyancy air sacs what is air sacs air sacs is uh, you can consider like uh, um, flying uh, all the flying animals have air sacs air sacs is nothing it's a type of bag which is inside in their body they fill air in it so to float in the air okay they, this air sacs helps them to float in the air and now buoyancy what is buoyancy like Uh, for a uh, little example i will tell you that uh, when you place something in a water what happens it uh, uh, sink into the water why because the if the object is heavy then it sink into the water so to balance them if the uh, like if the air, air is very much light right so air sacs um, in their body fill with air so it also become light and they like maintain their uh, weight of the air and their body hollow bones making body light in weight and adapted for the flying so their bones are hollow bones okay they are nothing no fluid inside their bones they they have hollow bones they, they helps them in a, making a, their body light okay so on uh, some pictures also i have given here uh, you can see there there is a birds uh, some of the birds flying in the sky if we, when you will look at the uh, like very um, clearly on this in this picture you can see how the characteristics of wing these wings helps them to uh, fly in the air okay and they are, they have a special types of legs also you can see claws type of legs you can see in your books it's given here they have a clouds like um, so, so they these uh, these legs helps them to hold something when while hunting they can hold their uh, hold the small animals in their claws on uh, so so that and they they fly away holding those uh, those uh, like um, whatever they have hunt they hold it in their clouds and fly in the sky the body of the insects also in light in weight and uh, toppers at the both ends they can fly uh, with two pairs of wings and also walk with the six stick like legs bats can fly with the help of patagium uh, patagium this is called patagium okay we we will not say this is wing this is called patagium it is given in your book only a thin fold of skin between their four legs and the hind legs observe the various birds and insects in your area so we can easily observe we have observed lots of time what characters birds have they had a nice beautiful wings which helps them to fly in the sky with they have a strong beak to uh, hold something or they have a strong claws to hold something as they are hunting 
okay so today we are going to end our class here only in next class again we will discuss about the adaptation in reptiles and adaptation in uh, adaptation for food in animals so we will discuss in the next class till the time we keep revising all the points uh, taught in the class thank you bye bye